for clicking and welcome back to our channel, folks. My name is Brad. I'm Deb. And we are out here on our 20 acres in Northwest Florida that we bought five years ago and we're developing into our future homestead. But what are we gonna do in today's video, Deb? Well, today, because it is a special one year anniversary, we're gonna show you what we've done in the past year and things that we've shown you. And we'd like for you to go back and watch the videos, but we're gonna condense it all and throw some music to it and come along with us for the ride. Probably. To do one window. I think there's a very vital piece of information that everybody needs to know, and that is that the man has named his excavator. He named it something like Hulk or Tank or Beef Master. <laughs> no, he did not. I introduce you to Precious. This is Precious, okay? He, he named his excavator Precious. Now we've got further evidence that the well was silted in. I don't think anything that's going on is good right now as far as this well. Black and white. And I want to think, doesn't it? not the success story that I wanted today.
What do you think of your suit, Deb? Well, it's a little warm. <laughs> Just saying, it's a little, it's a little warm. So we actually have nothing on under here because it's so hot here in Florida that uh, there's no way we could have clothes on under this. But uh, this is supposed to protect us, so here we go. Here we go. Hi, babe. How's that process? It's horrible. It's really awful. I mean, it's just nasty. I was ready, willing, and able to help and be in that boat, but as you see, that boat is not big enough. And I don't think the patience is strong enough for me in that boat. I'm just checking out your fancy red shoes. Don't be hating on my super red sneakers. My theory is you cannot have a bad day if you're wearing red shoes. If you're wearing red shoes, you're having a bad day, you look down and you're like, I got red shoes on. It's good. I ain't wearing red shoes. Just saying. I'm seeing the sunrise behind me. I just really want to showcase just how big these posts are. So I'm six foot tall, around 200 pounds, and the posts are eight foot. And because it's an H brace, we gotta pack the heck out of it. And Deb has grabbed my packer. I just made her bleed. This is a hoe, not her, but this. This That's is a, a hoe. hoe. This is a wife. And when I came down with that, I grabbed the edge of her arm. Now she's bleeding, but she was bleeding when she started because she went to pee in the woods and she got briars wrapped around her ankle. She probably ended I that out. I went and used the country facility. She peed in the woods. I peed in the woods. Like a country girl. I had to get Deb involved. She was just sitting there with the camera and let me do all the work. So she's working now. I got it. I, I've been working. It just only takes one person to put in one tack every other pole. I don't think this is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's moving though. Bella's eating a briar, and Deb is bleeding to death out of her knuckle. <laughs> it's not a good day. <laughs> it is a good day. That was fun.
She's got a smile on her face. I think she really enjoys it, which is really good because I would love for her to mow some of this pasture instead of me on that Kubota all the time. My efforts to get Bella to go home were not successful. Come on, baby. Our efforts to get Bella to back off were really unsuccessful. <laughs> She's not taking any clues or hints. <laughs> it's your ferocious pit bull. What do you want, baby? That right there. That's exactly what she wants. Because we lost the whole day. Why would we lose the whole day, Deb? Because my husband likes to talk, that's why. I don't think it was me. Oh, it was. You think it, you really? You think it was me? I think it was both of you. But I think you were a contributor, which I think it was very nice. I don't think I think so. it's good that you did. We, we got to end this video.